Hello, doctor. Greetings from another colleague. I'm Paola, and I have been tutoring other candidates sitting for this AMP clinical exam. Previously and for a while, I've been offering my notes, my summaries, and updated material. Um, it's all self-study. I just launched and have a new training value award, which I think will be very beneficial for a lot of you and complements well my existing summaries. So this is all about 2022 recall exam cases and a cluster of topics which will help you to get organized and to have a look how often and how much the topics repeat themselves. You will see that we have seen and keep coming like with the same cases, they may change the wording, they may change a little bit. However, the exam, yes, it's, it's pretty much similar across the whole year. And that's how I organize the Excel files. So I would like you to have a look because I know it makes more sense when you actually have a, a, a clear understanding. We know there's a lot of um, candidates chair uh, and are very kind to, to comment and, and tell others what the exam cases are. So I started from early in the year, from March until December to tabulate the same information that is shared on the uh, groups, uh, Telegram, Facebook, and by people and, and students who I was tutoring, and make this um, tabulated. Some you will see there's not much notes. Others have more complete um, cases uh, description. However, the topic is pretty much the same, or even if we don't have the diagnosis, we know what the complaint is. So I organize them and by date, um, format online or face-to-face, -face, and for most of them, I have that available, and also the main subject. So for some, I had to type because it was handwritten notes. Otherwise, I'll just copy paste. There may be typos, and I know that information may not be, um, like they may be missing some exams, but I think most, this is most what has been shared online, pretty much and what most of us have access. So some exam cases are very short, while others will have more information, but it's what we have and we can play with that. So after doing that, I then move into creating another folder by subject. So let me stop sharing and go back to that one. So I've been tutoring um, students and we normally find ways to, to review topics. If you have a weakness in women's health, we know we will focus on that and it's very good to have, okay, these are the list of cases, these are the main tasks, that's what we need to do. So I organize in the, the same things by topic and then I did like I have subtopics. So women's health, abnormal bleeding, you know, pain, infections, family planning, uh, cervical screening, menopause, kind of that, uh, postpartum, breast issues, the same for obstetrics, from early pregnancy, comorbidities, there's some infections, uh, late pregnancy, and also postpartum complications, children's health, the same by main um, subtopic or, or this kind of the, the complaint, the sepsis and infections, so vomit, burns, seizures, um, developmental issues, consulate in, in GP. So I, I try to group my best ability to facilitate, and I know this is a great time saver and what medical um, doctors overseas or here in Australia don't have is the time. And we also don't want to spend a lot of money. So I'm also making this affordable. I know a lot of people pay these expensive courses. I, I was in the position to do that. And I encourage people to, to get my summaries because I see it's very self, um, you need to be discipline, but, but it's all the self-study and it's very affordable and it's still high quality. I put a lot of time and actually I care about offering the best to others. So I, I wouldn't, I've been doing this for a while like this, this file, and I wasn't 
want to, to share it until I knew it, it was ready for you. So it's been uh, taking me months to, to finalize and to say, okay, let's do it. So psychiatric mood disorders, uh, medications, uh, side effects or prescriptions, um, you know, the, the anxiety, psychosis cases, they are organized like that. Medicine and surgery is super long and I couldn't, um, to be honest, I couldn't get the whole sub, like cluster of topics or subcategories, but I listed mostly by date. So you can still have a look what is the main things that are coming on, respiratory, cardio, and, and so on. Same for surgery, you listed a lot of stuff. So I just copy my big subjects, uh, all the gastro, the urology, ENT, dermato, musculoskeletal, and orthopedics. So to give you an idea, I think this is like visually what you get. You can download, modify, and organize however you want to make it um, useful for you. But I'm, I'm saving you the time. And time is, is expensive, you know. It's a big, the biggest asset. So if you want to look again, how I organize the topics, it's pretty much the, the lectures are by the subcategories that I have in the Excel file, but you can play with that. And I'm just discussing with you as in this conversational relaxed style, what are the key elements? What is something that you cannot miss? How to convey a diagnosis or how to use, you know, the, the language when you talk to medical student and so on, as well as the differentials, because that's the key. You need to be able to have differentials in mind with that initial complaint and explain and let the examiner know that you have all what it takes and what they are looking for. So if you have any questions I have to answer, I also do a lot of one-to-one -one tutoring. And look, always a very focused, giving my energy and my, my with the intention to actually uh, help you succeed because your success is also mine. So thank you for watching. I hope that you find this useful. And any questions, please let me know. I'm, I'm happy to have a chat. Bye for now. See you.